What is going on, lads? What's the crack? Hope you guys had a good weekend and welcome back to your Monday National Team Selection Pack review. And this is a good one, lads. This is a good one because we've got a couple of decent players in here that are definitely going to see us into eFootball 2024, right? So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We are going to get in all the information. We have got the Columbia pack, right? So there is eight players in here. You get three chances at spinning for these guys with remaining players there. You can see it's 100 coins, so you can only get three of these players, right? But if you do look out and you get three of the best players in this, there are some fantastic options to carry you into next season, right? So we have a couple of players here that are just kind of mid Mid game, I would say, mid game point. Um, I would say Mina, and I would also say uh, James Rodriguez and Orebi. Uh, these guys, you know, this DMF, I mean, we'll start with him just to get him out of the way real quick here. Like, he is an extremely solid DMF, but he is missing a couple of player skills. And because we have got the pack pick or the pick in the pack Barrios in this as a DMF as well. Uh, I think that this guy is just a little bit... I mean, listen, his aggression, his defensive engagement is insane. He also has 90 uh, or 80 ball control with 85 stamina and 80 and 75 acceleration and pretty much everything in the 70s. But I do think that you do need to put in a bit of work into this guy, especially if you want to make him a really dominant DMF. Um, now, he can play as a central as well if you want to go a little bit more attacking. Uh, but I definitely do think that while he, is, while he is a very, very strong player, I do think missing out on that blocker uh, as you see the build here and i will do training guides and a few of these top picks um he does go very very nice uh, when you train him up but i just feel like he is a bit lacking if you don't get barrios then he is definitely a great second option to have uh, the same can be said for the two center backs lads right so you've got mina um who is very dominant in the air he's got blocker but he doesn't have interception he's got acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority and heading he doesn't have slide tackle and he also doesn't have unwavering form which is a bit of a pity on these cards because i i do think that um you know all of these cards are going to struggle if they don't have form you know they become a very different type of player now he can train up as an as an 89 center back 89 overall center back um as you see here and you get his aggression to 90 you get his tackling to 89 you also get his speed to 69 and you can get his header and jump and physical contact all around the 90 mark so not a bad option at all same can be said for sanchez right so sanchez obviously is from, from spurs goes to 89 overall apart from his lack of player skills which you see here he pretty much has no player skills compared to other center backs and he is down as a build-up as well um with the standard form it's a bit of a killer but his speed acceleration of physical contact and jump are really good for a player that gets 94 aggression you can see where they're training the players now Konami you know where they're releasing some new players center backs you know are all about aggression and all about physicality and a little bit of speed sometimes thrown in as well but that is just a bit of a pity with these cards that they're not really going to be end game type cards now if you get them on a form they're definitely beasts and you can train them up really nicely um but it's kind of well balanced in how they look at the cards right and i would say that that's more evident uh in james rodriguez here who we have a quick look at as an amf right so he's down as a classic number 10 which is a very unique play style he has standard form so it's not unwavering but he has a whopping player skills right now he doesn't have some of the best player skills in the game so you will need to give him like one touch pass double touch but he does have some very unique player uh, skills for a classic number 10 and listen man this guy has been in my opinion really harshly uh, valued in eFootball and pez over the years i definitely think he was a fantastic player um and his stats go really nicely it's just that he's got no pace that speed is going to be killer on this card because you do need to go with the dexterity fairly high if you get it to the 90 but even if you just take it to like 84 um and this acceleration you know say the acceleration needs to be at least 80 in my opinion uh, or 78 in my opinion you're not going to get much more with the you know with the speed even if you pump in a lot into speed there you're still going to only get it to the like 67 overall with 12 points into it i mean you would have to pump pump in pretty much everything into lower body uh, to bring it up high and even at that you're kind of neglecting everything else so i would say just training without speed and bring him on as a super sub and also with quintero this guy was a hidden gem for me i had picked him out and signaled him out a long long time ago ball control dribbling tight possession and low pass and lofted pass all into the 90s with the player form boost he's got unwavering form as well which for a young 
uh, or a kind of a, a low rated player is pretty decent. Acceleration and balance is very, very nice on this card as well. And as I said, you can train him up multiple ways. You don't really need a lot of this. If you're looking for impact players, you can kind of just have a little bit different uh, stats. You know, if you wanted to pump up anything else like that, because he does have super sub, he is an impact player. So control, long range drive, long range shooting, one touch pass. And of course, we also have that super sub with low lofted pass, which is really nice as well. So that kind of brings us on to the top three guys, right? So just to get Diaz out of the way, Diaz has been a player that I've kind of slept on for a while. And the biggest reason that I slept on Diaz, lads, is because of his balance. With the way that the game has gone, balance is very, very key in how, you know, uh, you shrug off challenges and stuff, right? And if we are looking at this card here... His acceleration can go to 99 very easily, um, but his balance stays at 82. So you've got 97 acceleration there with 90 dribbling, but you've only got 82 balance. So, you know, that's kind of a bit of a concern with this card. If you wanted to pop six into finishing, you can do that, but he becomes a different type of card. Um, you can also train him up and have a lot of speed and stamina, but I do think that he's, he's not as silky as some of the other prolific wingers. And even his standard card, you know, it's not that bad with the balance compared to this one. The balance on this one is... is is kind of disappointing, even though it's 70, I think it should be at like, a, even if it was at 76, that you could go up, you know, the, the balance was at like 88 with these stats, he would be a beastly winger, but for these stats, I just don't think that it's worth it, Quadrado is the same, I mean, if we train him up here, he is a cross specialist, he's got some lovely player skills, he does have standard form, unfortunately, as well as you see here, he does have standard form there, um, if you were taking a look at him, I'm not too sure if I showed Diaz, lads, so I will show it right here again, um, with Diaz here, sorry, that's the build I had for him there, um, if you want to pause it, but yeah, I mean, for Quadrado, right, I do think that there is a bit of an issue with this card again, because of his, his just lack of skills in certain areas, right, now, I do think that he can be a very good player to pass the ball in, and, you know, get a lot of stuff going like that, if you go boost up the 88 lofted pass as high as you can go, um, which we see here. And then, of course, you have the dribbling at 88, but the high control type possession is going to be a bit lower. Dexterity can go really high. That can go to 88, but you're going to have the balance and offensive awareness issue. And, of course, you have a bit of an engine on him as well. But it's really going to be about passing with this card, lads, if you want to go that route with him, because you've got really nice stats for player skills there, or, or the stats and the mixture of player skills, right? So I would probably, you know, really overcompensate with the acceleration and throw on wherever else you wanted to put on there so very very good card as well but definitely not end game right so moving on to the last two last one then i would say that barrios is definitely one of the most exciting players that they have released if you've played pez and you're a big fan of the pez series barrios was definitely like an auto boy every year in my club he was an absolute beast if you got him and he was super 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 comfortable on the ball as you see here he's not as good offensively but he has got, you know, unwavering form, right? If we look at this card just straight off the rip, right? He's 82 overall. He goes to 30 levels. But look at the stats, man. Double touch, one touch pass. But he's also got man marking, man marking interception, blocker, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, captaincy, and fighting spirit. The only thing he doesn't have there is heading and aerial superiority, which you can give him very easily if you get the cards. Unwavering form. He's got 74 speed straight off the rip. He's got 78 aggression straight off the rip. He's an insane card, lads. Absolutely insane card. Passing four, dribbling four, that gives you into the mid 70s. And then dexterity at nine is going to give you 81 acceleration, but that all important balance because that's going to turn him from, you know, a great player into an absolute goat, in my opinion. And then, of course, we've got aerial strength. You've got the goalkeeper one to top up his, his jump and his header and his physical contact. But it's all about the defending here, lads. Look, you've got a player here that can play as a DMF or a CB. He goes to a 95 overall as a CB here and a 92 as a DMF because that's his card. If you're playing a sub tactic with slotting him in and starting him at DMF and then putting him as a CB, this guy, if you are able to play with him, will be an absolute rock for you at the back. So yeah, we will do a proper training guide on two versions of Barrios, so keep an eye on the channel for that later. But until next time, lads, that is it for the Columbia pack. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.